The sleek little Boston Terrier might be one of the most low maintenance canines out there when it comes to grooming. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at precisely what you'll need to do to keep the American gentleman looking his absolute best. Welcome back to the Femrear Boston Terrier Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the glorious little Boston Terrier. And if you love the Boston Terrier as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and you'll never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll go over everything you need to know when it comes to grooming your Boston. Now, Bostons are playful little canine companions with tuxedo-like markings that help give them their nickname as the American Gentleman. Of course, white on any canine is bound to get dirty or dull, even if they spend most of the day inside, as Bostons quite will happily do. The good news is that the Boston is a real people pleaser and quite trainable, so they adjust to grooming very quickly. The earlier you introduce grooming tools and routines, the better, but because they are so low maintenance, this can even be taught when they are older, if you have the patience. Now let's take a closer look at their coat and what you'll need to know as you groom it. Now the Boston has a short sleek coat that sheds minimally throughout the year, but you'll still want to brush them regularly. Brushing the short coat helps remove and loosen the dander and bits of debris that can be stuck just underneath their fur. And it also brings their natural oils through the coat. These oils make them softer and their coats shine with a healthy glow. Plus brushing allows you to look for any injuries or potential issues that you might not have otherwise noticed. You'll always want to brush them from front to back and top to bottom and be mindful of any bony areas, especially along their legs. You can use a few different types of brushes depending on what your Boston Terrier likes, really. Since their coats are thin, some of the Bostons may prefer a soft bristle brush or even a cloth, while others might prefer the scratch of a stiff brush or a tool like a Sleek Easy. Go with whatever your Boston chooses and seems to prefer the most, as grooming should be an enjoyable bonding ritual for both of you, not something that you both find a chore. Now, of course, you will need to bathe them now and again, just like with any dog. Make sure you use a shampoo and conditioner formulated for the pH balance dogs need, since it's different than what we humans need. Like you do when brushing, wash and rinse in a front to back pattern and using a wet rag on their face to be careful of not getting any water or shampoo in their eyes. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Now, depending on the activity level of your Boston, you may not have to trim their nails that often, but it's regularly needed for all but the most active of Bostons. Do both of you a favor and get them used to nail clippers or the vibration of a nail grinding tool early on in their life just to make it an easier experience if you do need to. Now, when grooming your Boston, you'll want to pay extra attention to their ears and jowls. Check their ears for any irritations or dirt, but don't use Q-tips or anything hard to clean them. You can use a special ear cleaning solution, but make sure to go back with a dry cotton ball or rag to make sure that no moisture is left behind that could cause an issue. Now you can check their jowls and under their chin for any bumps or irritations and give their face a gentle rub with a damp towel. They aren't droolers, but they snort and often sneeze, which can dry on their nose and jowls, causing irritations. They can be prone to small pimple-like bumps if they are sloppy eaters or drinkers, so wiping their face down every day can really help with this. And other than that, you pretty much have yourself a very easy to groom dog breed and a breed that you can keep looking absolutely stunning with pretty minimal effort. So I hope you found that useful and found it helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll never miss a future episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.